Anakoji is a bloody smart mad lad. Sometimes it seems like he knows everything. Today, I'm going to delve into pretty much every subject he was taught in the White Room, which has been confirmed throughout the series, and also based off my own inferences, based off his actions and behaviors. First off, we know the White Room's curriculum isn't your average school system. It encompasses a broad range of programs like advanced sciences, complex mathematical theories, and martial arts. And not just your regular high school level stuff. We're talking about extreme levels of difficulties pushing the boundaries of each discipline. So when you first look at volume zero of the light novel, it adds more to the list as well. Japanese mathematics, economics, and political science. This indicates a well-rounded education, not just in sciences, but also in humanities and social sciences, but also gets more specific and niche. Remember the Labrisi integral from university-level mathematics, or system theories from psychology, and the Taylor series from high school mathematics? These aren't just random topics. They're a representative of how deeply analytical and strategic minds are trained to understand complex concepts and apply them in the white room. Also, his martial arts skills suggests a comprehensive training regimen, probably including mixed martial arts. He has the ability to discern formal martial arts techniques from made-up ones, hinting at extensive knowledge in this field, plus his mastery in weapons like tasers and batons. That's not included in your everyday self-defense class. And it doesn't stop there. Anakoji's cultural refinement is evident in the skills of piano and calligraphy and tea ceremony. If we choose to believe him, these are not just skills. They represent a deeper understanding and appreciation of culture and art. His knowledge in liberal arts are also profound. He's familiar with classic literature like crime and punishment and strategies of famous historical figures like Zhui Gileng and Kudura Kanbi. This shows a well-versed individual in both the literary world and the realms of strategic thinking. And let's not forget about strategic board games. Being a grand master-level chess player hints that he might just be skilled in other strategic games like Zambi or Scrabble, but that just scratching the surface. There's so much more he probably knows specialized knowledge in firearms, computer systems, hacking. The list goes on. The breadth of his knowledge spans areas most normal kids would even dream of exploring. So enough of the yipper-yapper. We get it. Anakoji is a genius. But for the ambition just few of you out there, how can we start to learn these subjects? Is it even possible to follow in the footsteps of such an overpowered person, I mean? Well, that's why I've created a book list, three books per subject, so you guys can also become perfect humans as well. Peace on the street.